Okay, welcome to another Prepared Flight Simulator video. Again, Prepared Flight Simulator uh, 2.1. I'll go ahead and start the stopwatch here. And in this video, this is actually kind of my own idea. We're going to do a fly around of Cairo, Egypt. I was doing a fly around of another area, and it dawned on me that maybe locating the uh, pyramids in, in this uh, simulator might be fun. So let's see if we can find them. I just went to the airports and put in the, a search for Cairo International. And so we're in Cairo, Egypt, and I have no, no idea where the uh, pyramids would be from here. Maybe maybe we can even see them from the runway. I don't know. Doesn't look like it, so we're going to have to guess. Let's get into the air and find out. Back in the Raptor uh, so we can cover ground fast, especially here since I have no idea where the pyramids are even at relative to this airport up off the ground. Raise the gear. Pretty sure I hear it going up. Back off the throttle. Let me just check again. Okay, yeah, we have landing gear up. I, uh, I wish there was an indicator on the HUD that would tell you if it was down or up. Okay, now let's go full power just to move quickly. Take out some of this elevator trim because I'm pitched up a little more than I need to be. Although I do want to get up a little bit so I can see them farther out. It's not over speed though. Aha! There we are. I can see them from here. Alright, that'll be fun. So not far from that airport. At least about not far by air in a Raptor. Might take a while to drive over that way. I wonder if that's the Nile that we're crossing. Must be. It's not quite as uh, amazing as you, as, you, as you think of it, though, when you read the old texts. You know, this river was like the... was like That was like civilization for 2,000 years or something. The whole... All of civilization, like, depended on this river, basically. Slow way down. I should have found out which key was the speed brake. I don't remember, but because I'd like to slow down and get really close to the pyramids. And so yeah, it's built up a lot more around here than I th than I really thought. And there's some more pyramids down there. We'll go take a look. But uh, yeah, we got the three great pyramids here, and you can even see the Sphinx down here. smaller pyramids. That's, I believe that's the Great Pyramid, or is it that one? I don't know. Huh. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's uh, fly down... what is it? South? Yeah. Fly south, and we'll see what that other stuff is down there. Because I do know that the whole, this area has more than just those three Great Pyramids. Yikes, try not to slam into the ground. Uh, overshot on the heading, so we need to go back this way a bit. Just a, just a smaller pyramid down here I want to look at, and then we'll maybe come back and look at the Great Pyramids. Although it looks like there might be a few pyramids down here. Apparently all the lesser pharaohs were relegated to the... Or maybe these... The, I think they, actually these were the, where the like failed experiments for pyramids were. Um, I've watched several, I mean, as I'm sure a lot of people have, documentaries on how pyramids were built and you know some speculation as to why they might have been built and all this type of thing. And I remember reading or seeing rather in some of those that some of the early pyramids were like they didn't really have the technique down quite right so they were built at odd angles and some of them collapsed uh, you know as you get farther up you know the, the mass at the bottom or the, the amount of mass that the bottom has to support you know increases with each layer that you add on and sometimes they would just collapse under their own weight but this one here looks like one of the uh, ones that were kind of a failed experiment where it doesn't go up in that perfect, uh, what is it, what is the pyramid, like a 45 degree angle, is that right, or is it 42 degrees, I forget, there's like a certain angle that they consider perfection, and it would have been amazing to see the, the three great pyramids back when they were just 
perfect and polished with the whatever limestone or whatever. But you can see the years of erosion, the millennia of erosion. So that's kind of like one of them step pyramids that was never done quite right. And that looks like a mound where that almost looks like they just kind of piled up a bunch of stone and threw some dirt on top of it and said, hey, we got a it's something that's kind of like a pyramid, but not quite. This one over here looks like it might be a little better. And it's kind of interesting to just to think about what we're doing here, you know, flying in a flight simulator on a computer 4,000 years later or something like that. Looking at this architecture from so far back. Are we any better off now? Some, in some ways, certainly. And others, eh, I'm not so sure. Uh, the pyramid behind the one in front looks like another one of them failed experiments where you can see it goes up at an angle, then it stops, and then goes up at a different angle. You can see there it goes up, stops, then goes in. And I remember something about that one where, like, I think they changed the angle on it because it was decided that if they kept going at the at the current angle that it, it would be too high, wouldn't support the weight, and it would collapse. So they had to change the angle on it and make it look goofy. I think they should have just gave up because it looks retarded like that. All right, let's fly back toward the, I guess it would be north from where we're at, and do a, sh a slower speed flyby of the Great Pyramids the Coolins. That's where the cool kids hang out, by the Great Pyramids. And while we're doing that, we'll go full throttle for now, but we'll start slowing down a little early so that we can get back to uh, slower speed by the time we get over there. And they're almost in front of us. Let's get start slowing down a bit now. You got the velocity vector on the pyramids. Let's get really close to the ground. Bring the throttle way back. One thing that's kind of interesting about the simulator, when you throttle up, you get that whole, like, throwing you back in your seat effect. Well, let's not crash. I'll show you what I mean. Let me go with full throttle. like throws you back in your chair. It's kind of amusing the way that works. And when you let go of the throttle, you lean back forward. Or not let go, but when you throttle down, rather. All right, so let's try to uh, thread the needle here. Let's fly right between these two pyramids without crashing. Keep the velocity vector just above the horizon right there and we should be okay. And we still have plenty of velocity, so in a pinch we can pull up. So, yeah, that's a look at the pyramids. I thought that would be kind of interesting. And if you like this video, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, it's okay. Hit the don't like button. I can take it. Sad face. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Pyramids. Let's take a look at the Sphinx if we can really quick. Uh, not sure. Uh, I'm not going to be able to turn back in and see it. It's much smaller, so it's a little harder to see it. But anyway, that's a look at the uh, pyramids of Egypt. So I will see you in the next video. Maverick Supersonic.